Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Tricky Acid and I'm going to have a brief run through the latest patch notes for the glitch in the Frontier DLC. I won't be going through every detail, but just the main points that I feel like targeting. So let's kick it off with the new content. First of all, we're getting the map Glitch. And also a new Life Fire map called Death. A new faction will also be introduced named MRVN, which are the Marvin robots from the campaign. So we'll see some happy Marvins as well as some sad Marvins. A new execution named Get to the Point, which unlocks once you get 10 kills with the Pulse Blade. I've been ranking up the kills today with the Pulse Blade. So I'm going to have some really cool footage of the execution very soon. So be sure to stay tuned for that on my channel. New modes are also to be introduced, however not all 4 modes will be given to us straight away. But I assume with the new glitch map being launched, we should get glitch 24-7 today, so we can have a better feel of this new map. Marked for Death, which is a popular game mode from the original Titanfall, will also make its epic return. It's a 6v6 game mode where both teammates, sorry, where both teams have a leader the way I look at it and the idea is to kill that person who gets marked for death in either team. After a few seconds a new mark is chosen and the first team to 10 kills wins the game. We also have Titan Brawl, it's team deathmatch but with titans, it's 5v5 and you won't be able to eject or respawn so each kill counts for 1 point and the first team to earn 30 points wins the game. And lastly, there will be a new modified version of LTS, named Iron Last Titan Standing, where it's the same game mode as LTS, except there will be no ejecting and no batteries. There will be further new features as well, the main menu's UI is getting spiced up with new background videos, etc. So I can't wait for that! Since I've never been a big fan of the UI in Titanfall 2 to be honest, I've always found it really dull so I can't wait to see what Respawn deliver when it comes to the main menu update. And also you'll get to choose between regular or prime titan executions long as you own that specific prime titan as well as set it to random so either one will play out. There's going to be some more balancing changes made to titans as well. Overall, generally all titans besides Ronan will have a reduced area for melee. When it comes to Ion's laser shot, Cone Angle, it will have a slight reduction. So you're going to need to be a bit more accurate with your aim. And when it comes to Ronan, he won't have any more issues with blocking any incoming damage anymore. This is intended at Northstar's charge shot which for some reason couldn't be blocked. Check out this footage carefully. It's the same one I played at the start of the video. You'll notice as I played as Northstar, I used my charge shot at Ronin while he blocked, and yet I still did damage, put him in a doom state, and then I rushed in and killed him. But now, with that fixed, he will be able to block Northstar's charge shot. So for those of you who do play as Northstar, me being one of them, we're going to have to be a lot more careful when dealing with Ronan. There will also be further balances made to the pilots. I think I'm going to go for the slidey black animation for this one because there's a lot to cover when it comes to pilot balancing. And I'm kind of sick of the whole blurred background right now. Yeah, there we go. That's better. So, anyway, first up, arc grenades now only have one charge. However, they will recharge faster. Hollow pilots can now walk through amped walls as well as crouch walk. The Mastev, the crosshair is made to be smaller, so if you have a bead on an enemy, you'll most likely deal high damage. Projector width will also increase quicker to improve consistency of damage in close quarters. When it comes to the EVA, now you need to be closer to deal max damage and slightly increase spread to compensate. Then we have the Devotion. A lot of people love the Devotion. However, the reduced, the, they've reduced the near and very far damage of the Amp Devotion. Charge Rifle. Small increase, increase to its base damage. 
Then we have the Archer. Reduce missile tracking speed. It will still continue to track targets, but not to the extreme amount it has been since the last patch. And then there are crosshairs. Crosshair dots no longer turn off when firing all assault rifles and SMGs. There is also an issue fixed with the R101 where the reticle would disappear while cloaked. Improvements will also be made for networking and matchmaking. I'm not going to run through this, but it's nice to see that we're going to get a more reliable party system, amongst other good things. Other game improvements that I'd like to highlight is that multiplayer being shown as last played in the main menu is a nice touch, so no more accidentally going to single player. Also, Gates, the 6-4 leader, her model will be changed to the campaign version. I suppose is to make her appearance more accurate when compared to the story mode. There will also be game mode adjustments and other miscellaneous bug fixes, which I don't rank as highly important, so I won't be going into detail with that. But in the description box below, I've noted down all the patch notes as well as the original link, so you can check it all out on the site as well. With all that said, I'll catch you all next time with upcoming videos on new DLC in Titanfall 2. Let me know what your thoughts are on the patch notes, anything specific that caught your attention. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give a like and remember to subscribe. Yes, that's the new term I'm going to use for subscribe. So be sure to subscribe to me if you haven't already. I doubt HC is going to use that term, but that's what I'll be saying. And that wraps up this video, so I'll catch you all next time.